Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sergey, and I'm in my workshop Accordion Utopia. So this, I want to talk about this bayan in, in this video. So this is bayan made uh, at Tula factory, uh, probably in 40s, I, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I did some work on it, although most of it is original. So this bayan is, has a very good response and um, I want to show it as an example of bayans that can be used to, if you want to play soft like if you want to play quiet but still with dynamics uh, so let me play a melody and then uh, I'll talk about the work I did on it <laughs> Of course, I don't play that soft even for myself, like, and especially when I play for someone else. I would play something like, at, I mean, I play pretty, very soft level, but uh, typically I would play like this. <laughs> So it, it's very easy to play, very responsive, like uh, uh, one test that I mentioned in my other video, like if you put, press A for example on, on the left side, the bass, A, and then E here, I start to, like say I press them, and now I start pushing, pulling. They, they, they respond exactly at the same time. I can do the same for the any other note. I hope it will you can hear it in the video, but let me let me try very slow and they this, this started the right side started at the same time but might not be as loud as the left side because the right side has two voices and this side has four voices so it's bigger sound. But they do start at the same time. You you see a lot of bellow moving movement, and this is not because response is bad. This is the response is very good. This is because the compression is not perfect. So here is I'm showing the compression. It could be could be hopefully it could be improved, but I'm not sure if it's like a quick thing. Because I already worked on improving compression, I re uh, replaced the seals between the bellows and the right and the left side. I also re-glued these pieces. Th this is brand new. Uh, it's a synthetic leather, but it, it it's what was it replicates the best what was originally here. Because I, I did find the leakage in the corners. I think I found a couple valves on the right side that was the leakage of air was under the valves, I fixed that. 
it's still not perfect. The valves are originals, the seals are all originals, and a lot of stuff, parts are original. I did work on the left mechanic to make it work smooth, smoother and uh, quicker return of the buttons. Replaced the feet here and replaced this uh, strap. This is the original uh, strap holder. This is what was what was used on the Russian Bayans. Pretty common so you have two nuts here that you can uh, unscrew and then slide the, the strap and then screw them again i also replaced this um, uh, hooks for the straps shoulder straps and the same for the bottom ones so those are not original but they they work really well and um, also replaced all the black uh, buttons because the original buttons were cracking the white ones are original but the blacks are, are not and also all the felt uh, under the button that green piece on all of, under all of them that's that's new it was also green but not this is a new one this is a fresh and the original one was compressed and uh, looked pretty dirty on those so this is the work I did on this Bayan. Uh, like I said, it's not in the perfect shape and some keys might still be maybe stucking under, uh, like if you play fast or you press different than the way I do. And I, I, I've seen that, like I fix the Bayan, I give it to the owner, the professional player, and then he starts playing and something gets stuck and I, I gotta go in and fix it. I'm not surprised from that, that that's common because everyone plays different and depending on how far you push in and how exactly you push in the key or if you're holding another key, a button during that time at the same time, that, that can affect how it comes back. So. I can't say that I guarantee that this will work as good as on new instrument, but I think it works pretty well. And the, the same thing for the right side. I did not take the axis out and replace any, any bushings. It's all original. Very uniform uh, pressure for any of the buttons or any of the rows. But um, it's not new. It, you can hear that sound and and that's not that's not bad like because when you play you don't hear that you only hear it when when you don't squeeze it just just push the buttons uh it has um brass reed plates and a single reed plates on right and left side so this is the very uh, i'm gonna actually show that very quick so uh, this is in uh, Russian Bayans and Soviet made Bayans, Ukrainian Bayans, Russian Bayans and all the Soviet Republic's Bayans. This was considered to be the best in terms of the quality and in terms of um, the sound, the quality as like I, like I said ability to play soft and this the sound quality meaning the timber of the of the sound so we're taking out three nails on each side total of six nails this is what you will see on the inside pretty good condition and take one of those as an example They go in pretty tight. Actually, I did. Because they go in tight because I adjusted those. But you can see this is a single piece of brass, and then all the reed reeds attached to it. And another way to check how responsive reeds are is to blow air from your mouth, but don't do it too much because you have moisture in your the air you're blowing out, and that's not good for the reeds. But just to to demonstrate it. You blow air at look watch the distance that I have uh, and if, even I slightly blow you can hear them responding 
Another thing is when you're blowing through, if you see all the notes, like <laughs> kind of like in uh, um, the thirds on the bayans, then that means really good. If, if you hear like big jumps, short jumps, short, big jumps, short jumps, uh, the steps, then that's not good. Some reeds don't respond as good as the others. On this instrument, all reeds respond really well. And let me quickly show the left side. So again, all the reeds are, reed plates are the brass reeds, very big reeds. Those are the reeds, single reed plates, bass with four voices and the chords, uh, two, two reeds tuned um, dry. By the way, I didn't say that, but right side as well as left side all tuned dry on this instrument. And because I had, I put those new uh, strap holders, those screws are pretty long. I left them long because they don't touch anything but they, I mean, they could be cut. But they, again, they, they, this is not a problem because they don't, they're not on the way, in a way. Okay, so. This, back. this instrument, I probably said it at the beginning, probably was made in 40s, maybe early 40s, maybe 1940. I don't know exactly the time when it was made. Uh, this is just based on my knowledge from having working on many other instruments that come, looks the same or same style and design come from the same era. So that's why I think it's from 40s. Um, it's, it has pretty bright sound on the right side and let me demonstrate. Uh, the left and the right deep bass and a pretty pretty bright sound so it's it's a bright right hand and a deep left hand and very good response there is no button to uh, squeeze it like just for squeezing it without reads so you, you have to push like a few buttons here and squeeze it like this original bellows pretty much everything is original except what I described well thank you very much for watching this video I hope you like the video and the instrument and um, Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.